Hi, this is the demo video of Nexum. It's a cable tester and here we have a classic 1016 2.54 mm power cable used in most modern Eurorack models. And if we insert it like this and all the wires are working, we'll get the first 10 LEDs lit. Let's try to plug it reversed. No lights, of course. Nexum consider a connection true only if there is no continuity between the wires. That's for extra protection and to avoid false positives. And we can use also a 1616 cable as in some model that needs the 5 volt line to boot up. The procedure is the same. We'll have four more LEDs lit since the cable has four more wires. Nexum can be used also with more exotic cables like this 1010 pins ones that is usually used to connect ports together. And as we can see, the LED lights are five on each side. At the top of the module, there are additional sockets, two millimeters and 1.27 millimeter sockets to test cables with a maximum of 20 wires. Since the module is available as a DIY kit, you can configure these headers with the sockets you prefer. Here we have a 2020 cable with a connection 1.27. As we can see, the cable itself is not working. Since the, their functioning is the same as the 2.54 headers at the bottom, we know that this cable has something not well configured, like as, as we can see, it's not well connected. With the headers, we can also test custom multi-core or single core ribbons. This one is fine. At the bottom, we have two pair of jack sockets for mono and stereo 3.5 patch cables. The LED slits are only going to be two since these kind of cables have two different connections, ground and signal. This one was not working before, sadly. So let's see. Let's test it out. Nope. Nope, not working. Let's try also a stereo cable, just uh, three LEDs are going to be lit and this one is working properly. You can use Nexum to test the cable before a gig or if you are a module builder to test them out before shipping or before powering up your modules. I tend personally not to trust the cable and always to test it out. The module itself is really slim so you can it can be fit into any case and the header on the back can be reverse mounted, so you don't need to care about the direction of the header since it's protected by diode bridge. And if you don't trust the cable, use it to power Nexum and he will handle it, basically. So that's it, cheers, see you in the build video.